reason I do the uh, warm-ups at the beginning of my workout videos. So these are all, I mean, it's, it's warm-up. Only because I'm working out my abs here. You know, other days I do burpees or jumping jacks. Um, the day that I'm doing the deadlifts, I just try to work out my abs. Um, just try to get as much activation through the deadlift. And by having them already a little, you know, sore and worked out from doing a really short ab workout. At least that's the theory. I show it because... I've watched a lot of other people's workout videos and they pretty much, well, a lot of them just kind of show their uh, exercises from the butt view, you know, take a picture of their butt and not for guys really, but it seems like half the workout videos out there, more than half of the workout videos out there are ladies working out and they, they want you to admire their butts. It seems like the ones who are the most popular are the ones who have very long butt cracks. Nothing wrong with that. But anyways, I think that there's something lost when you don't show the warm-up. You just show just go, going straight into the workout. Um, for somebody who's newer to working out, they might not realize that all these guys are doing some sort of warm-up in the beginning. Usually it's going to be something like this, where this is more of a, a lighter weight version of what I'm going to be doing when I get to the actual deadlifts. These are stiffly good deadlifts. I've been doing these to hit my hamstrings, but I'm thinking I might want to switch this up at some point. I'm going to go through 26 weeks of doing these, though. This is what I'm going to do. I made a commitment. It's 26 weeks long, and stiff-legged deadlifts are the way I get going here, so... I will be increasing the weight though. The goal is three sets of these um, for a total of 30 repetitions. I'm not having feeling any challenge to hit that. <laughs> do want to make sure that I'm keeping my, my back straight on these. Um, try to keep my legs a little bit straight too. I can't help but to bend my knees a little bit, but to really keep my hamstrings kind of flexed and or stretched, I don't know. Activated, how about that? So I'm switching over here to the actual deadlifts. I got that little uh, barbell jack thing there. They make this other one that I like. It's a full barbell jack. It lifts the whole t entire thing off the floor. The only problem with that is it's like a big giant T. And I don't have any place that would really look okay for me to put it. I mean, this weight room is right where, right where you walk into our house. So try to keep it somewhat nice looking. I mean, I don't have a princess dress anywhere. Oh, yeah, I do. There it is right there in the back. I mean, so it really makes people feel like they're walking into a palace or something. The princess standing next to the torture chamber. So today I'm, uh, I've increased the weight here. So what is that? That's 335 plus 10. 345. Well, there it is on the screen. Look at that. 345 pounds. So I've done this amount of weight before. But I've not done this amount of weight uh, for sets of five, or at least five repetitions of five set, sets of five. I've done a set of five, but I've never used this, this amount of weight as my workout weight for a full five by five. It's kind of funny how your mind plays with you when you're lifting weights. I mean, I, at the beginning, it keep wondering if I'm going to be able to do any more, if I'm going to do any more weight, and I can. 
I can feel like I'm gonna stop. You know, like it's just too much for me, so I better not lift and just give up. It's funny how long I've lifted weights. I mean, it's been like 20 years or something. About that, 20 years. Uh, I didn't really lift in high school or anything. Yeah, look at that, me showing off to you, which is me. I'm probably the only person watching my videos. It was okay. Just in there holding the weight. But anyways, uh, for the longest time, I never deadlifted. I actually can remember a time, this is probably back in around 1992, 1993. And uh, I went up to some guy who was doing deadlifts, and I asked him why he was doing deadlifts. So what, what does that work or why, why do you do that and his answer was to me or to me was I don't know I've just seen other guys doing it thought I'd give it a try <laughs> so I thought it sounded stupid I didn't seem like well if you don't have any idea why you're doing it then why the hell you're doing it so I just didn't do that deadlifts I in fact my back workout for most of the time that I lift weights wasn't very good and it never worked anything with it, but, you know, glutes. Reminds me of, on, uh, what was that movie with uh, Jim Carrey and, uh, shoot, the actor whose voice is everything. He becomes a god, you know, you maybe remember, he can't, you won't be able to tell me though, because you'll be hearing this in the future, and... I'm existing in the past right now. But, anyways, like when they. It says, good. No, if you haven't seen that movie, you don't know what I'm talking about. I like that shirt. It says, uh, just do Jim. On it. It's always funny because my name is Jim. It's not spelled the same as that, but it's still funny to hear. <laughs> Actually, what gym class for me was never like a automatic A like it was for some people. Not that I tried hard. But when I was in school, I had... You could see my ribs all the way through my chest, everything. Like I was a very skinny kid. When I was in wrestling, I wrestled at uh, 119, and uh, I was pretty skinny. I was same same height as I am now. I didn't even like lifting weights that much, like when I was in wrestling. I bet you if I had lifted weights back then the coaches probably could have helped me put me on a good program because they probably definitely were lifting for strength could have set me on some goals like you know I guess you get one chance to live I did other things retrospectively they look like dumber things but at the time I didn't think they were dumb all right, so I completed all my all my sets that day for my uh, deadlifts, and now I'm moving on to the uh, curls. And I actually increased the weight this week. No, actually, what I did was I had increased the weight the weight the week before. But I, in watching the video, I noticed that my form was just poop. So right there, where I right before this, I checked out my arm. Or I, I just didn't feel like I was going to be able to hit my uh, rep goals, and especially not with good form. I mean, even right here at the back, that one was okay, but the one before that, and there you go again, quite a bit of swing. So when I'm doing uh, curls, I, I, I really flex my butt and my uh, my legs. But see right there where I have my legs, they're not close enough together 
if I, when I am lifting, when I'm, if I have my, the inner thighs, if I flex and they can touch each other, just about barely touching, and have my whole butt and my back flexed, I get a much better curl. I just have a better foundation. I don't know if everybody has that, but that's definitely what I've noticed. So I don't think I did anything ma magical on this uh, day. I think I just basically hit the... I hit the reps and everything. It was a good day. Every day I deadlift is a good day. I always sleep good that night. See in the back there, that's a vanilla ice video with some other guys that are more current. I turned off the TV because the I think everybody got home or something. And oh no, I didn't. It's a different video. Yeah. So I'm doing hammer curls now. I think the week before I had gone up to 45 pounds. I lowered it back down to 40 pounds. And I remember this day because I, my arms are really feeling it. And this was a this was a very good arm day, <laughs> bicep day. I don't have an arm day. I just work out my work my biceps into one day, my triceps into a different day, and I work out my shoulders or different areas of my shoulders kind of spread throughout the week in various workouts it's a four day split I hit all my body parts at least once except for my calves and my forearms at least once during the week and um, the big groups I am hitting at least twice and then just by you know doing the other exercises hitting the, the big groups I'm also working out my arms on those other days so now this is the fourth week of doing this exact workout 22 more to go hopefully uh, well I think the deadlifts will increase I'm not so sure about the curls maybe maybe the biceps get super strong but that's the end of the, this workout